Hello, 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 and welcome back to Night of the Dead Updates, and oh my god, it is here. Oh, development update number 16, Transmorgification, DLC, Combat System, and Story Part 2. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this so much. Let's see. Look at this. Ooh, NPCs. That's NPCs. I know it is. Okay. Fixed that client player was unable to join the game. Fixed some crashes. And let's see. We've already read this. Version 3.1.0.4. If you encounter problems, this is where you go. Hotkeys have been changed for some features and new hotkeys have been added. This will reset all game settings. And we ask that you change your game settings again. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Hey, if that means we don't actually have to, like, throw away our old games and start a whole brand new game, I am all for that. Fine, I'll change my hotkeys. Not a problem. All right. The game has been updated and the official server is reset. I'm sorry if you hear a cough drop in my mouth. I have a cold and I'm trying to keep my voice so I can speak. Okay, DLC. DLC added. Beginner pack. Civilian combatant pack. White Collar Civilian Pack, Ghost Killer Pack, Wood Carving Doll Pack. Okay, so we have a Night of the Dead Wood Carving Doll Pack. This pack offers outfits for fashion-conscious survivors. A wood carving doll crafted by an artisan, turn into a wood carving doll and survive. Okay, that one's 1507 pounds. So I imagine it's like $20-ish, $19, i am not sure, in dollars. Um, Night of the Dead White Collar Civilian Pack. This pack offers outfits for fashion-conscious survivors. It's a neat suit fit for a gentle survivor. <laughs> okay. Um, the Ghost Pack. Uh, it's brutal clothes that great for instilling a sense of fear. And then a Civilian Combatant Pack. A tough outfit fit for a combatant. And um, the Beginner Pack. It's a cute yellow outfit suitable for beginners. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm buying all these. Okay, transmogrification or mogrification system. Transmogrification system. Mogrification has been added. Mogrification use skin items. Used skin items are removed. Skin items can be earned by playing the game, the same as existing costumes. Existing costumes have been removed due to the addition of skin items. Equipment with transmogrification applied can be checked via the transmogrification socket on the equipment. The transmog Transmogrification UI can be found in the game menu or on the transmogrification workbench in the survivor shelter. All right. I don't understand a word that says, but we're going to figure it out. Combat system. New stuff. Yay! Weak point. Added the weak point system. When a zombie performs an attack or takes damage, it has a chance to reveal a weak point. Weak point can be attacked with kick or stab. Zombies hit by a weak point will enter... A groggy state, giants and unique zombies, meaning the bosses, do not become groggy. Kick. Kick has been added. Kick and drop kick. The damage of kick is scaled by the tier of the currently equipped weapon. Kick or drop kit is drop kick is performed based on the character's current speed. Successfully hitting a weak point with a kick increases your combo count. When the combo count increases, you can use an enhanced kick, but can't use a drop kick. The duration of the combo count is 30 seconds. All right, so we can see the kick with the weak point. Oh, man, that drop kick is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to try that out. Okay, stab. S added a stab. Melee weapons now enter an aimed, ready-to-stab state when equipped and right-clicked. Some weapons cannot be stabbed. This can be seen in the key guide that appears in the top left after equipping the weapon. Some weapons have lower stab damage compared to basic attacks. Well, we already kind of had stab, though. I mean, we have it from the... The stabby stab thing. I can't think of right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, relax attack restrictions. Change to allow players to move while attacking. Change to allow players to attack while in midair. Interesting. Okay, stamina usage. Stamina no longer uses health when depleted. 
As a result, a specific animation will play when you've used up all of your stamina, and your stamina regeneration and movement speed will be reduced for a short time. Oh. Okay, attack animation. Some attack animations have been changed. Zombie combat polishing. Other zombies can now be knocked back or knocked over by a zombie's attack. Changed, changed to perform a different attack pattern if a zombie's arm or leg is severed. Added a pattern for zombies to fall. Added a pattern for half crawler to grab the player's legs. <gasps> oh my god, that's terrifying. Added an animation for zombies to rotate in place. Interesting. Um, oops. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Added new story added. Added a dungeon to the Western Grasslands area. Okay. Look at him all sparkly. Look at that golden bow. I wonder what that's all about. I think it's a bow. NPC. NPCs have been added to the world. NPCs can be encountered while progressing through the main story. And then down there in the text, it says, finding me in a place like this, you're lucky. Oh, you look like some kind of a lab tech or security officer. And then this is Jasmine Taylor looking for silicon. Interesting. Survivor shelter. Added survivor shelters. Survivor shelters contain NPCs and workbench with specific functions. Survivor shelters exist in each region. Look at that. So cool. Okay. Survivor quest. Added survivor quests. Survivor quests can be accepted from NPCs in the survivor shelter. Survivor quests are quests that can be done repeatedly in an area. All right. Let's see. I can't really see it very well. Jasmine Taylor has like um, kill biker. 40 bikers. Quest information. Okay. Kill mutated lions. One. Um, submit grave looting goods. Interesting. Okay. New objects. Added objects that can be progressed through survivor quests. Added albino zombies. Albino zombies spawn in specific locations after accepting the survivor quest. Added the graveyard area. Destroy the tombs with a pickaxe can yield certain items. Check the legend in the map UI to see the survivor shelter icon. Okay. Game menu. The game menu UI is where you can see all of the overall functionality in your game. Some features are restricted and are unlocked under certain conditions. You can now you can see how to unlock them by hovering over the feature. Okay, we have character information, coils, inventory, transmog, journal, survivor quest, map, research, build, system, team info and server info okay resource sharing resource sharing has been added when performing interactions such as crafting and building you can use the materials present in your storage box resource sharing is automatically enabled when building a storage box oh my gosh this is amazing for already built storage boxes resource sharing is enabled this is a little bit of a tongue twister you guys you can toggle the resource sharing feature to enable to an, an enabled slash disabled state by performing additional interactions on a built storage box. Resource sharing has a range of 50 meters radius around the storage box. When entering building mode or equipping a tool, such as a claw, hammer, wrench, and power drill, a storage box with resource sharing enabled will be colored light blue. In multiplayer, resource sharing is only possible if you are on the same team. This feature is not available in some interactions. Disassembly, reforging of coil and trap modification parts, reassembly, kiosk, forge, objects related to quests, etc. Game systems, general. Changed default number of players when creating a room from four to eight. Added the ability to skip sequences that play during game progress. Use the shortcut of a spacebar. Changed feet to become visible when switching to first person camera. Removed the defense stat that was used for the shield. It doesn't make much difference in actual performance as before. Enabled the no research lost upon dying setting on hard difficulty. Games already saved will need to be manually changed via difficulty changed. Changed some items don't count towards the take all like quest items or book. 
added a tutorial system for basic maneuvers in the bunker. All right. Satiety system. The energy system has been changed to a satiety system. Remove the ability to reduce satiety on death. Satiety is reduced over time, and for every 20 reduced, the maximum amount of health and stamina is reduced as well. A dedicated sound will play when satiety is reduced. Added the ability to speed up or slow down the decrease of satiety for various actions. Items that restore health and satiety have been separated. Eating food restores satiety proportional to calories. HP. Change to allow you to increase your max HP. Max HP can be increased through stats, research, and more. Game balancing. Combat balancing. Player attack speed reduced. Oh, gosh. Player stamina reduced. Recovery reduced from 18 to 10. Oh, no, you guys. Oh, this sounds painful. Player's noise range has been increased. Ranged weapon stopping power has been changed. Range attacks now apply a percentage of the attacker's damage, for example, the hammer. Status balancing. Okay, these get really technical, so I'm just going to read um, parts of this. Changed secondary options for stats. Added a tenth of a point HP regeneration per second to characters' base stats. Reduced the amount of HP that can be gained from items, research, etc. for damage leached and HP regeneration. Fixed options for some armor and accessory have been changed to max HP. Added max HP to the random options for armor and accessory. Reduced the value of random options on equipment, element reinforcement, and stat increase options. Increased HP regeneration per second of rest interaction from 1 to 1.5. And the amount of experience required to level up has been increased overall. Zombie balancing. Zombie damage and health have been increased. The health and damage multipliers applied to zombies based on their habitat area have been increased. Reduce the amount of variation in zombie movement speed over difficulty. Reduce the number of light zombies spawning in the world. Unique zombie health has been reduced. Ooh, the bosses should be a little bit easier to hit then, or kill. Unique zombie damage has been increased. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not. Unique zombies now take 50% reduced damage from firearms. Oh my god. Oh, 50% redu reduced damage from guns? Holy cow. Increase the duration of the staging behavior for most attacks from unique zombies. Mutated Francis's spinning pattern has been reduced in its ability to pull players. Good, because that little, that little storm, the uh, cyclone there was hard to get out of. Unique zombies have a 100% chance to drop unique items. I thought they already did. I, like, I have never killed a boss and not gotten a drop. But some types of zombies that appear in waves have been modified depending on the day. Okay. Animal balancing. Increased HP and damage for animals in higher areas. That makes sense. Added some resistance based on the animal's area. All right. Natural objects balancing. Damage to natural objects has changed. It has been changed to make it more difficult to destroy natural objects if the equipment is not specifically for gathering. Like using the woodcutter's axe, pickaxe, chainsaw, and jackhammer. Oh, they must mean like how we use the machete to like just gather bushes. I gotcha. Okay. Quest balancing. Conditions for some quests have been changed and relaxed. Items balancing. Added painkillers to starting items. Added food poisoning debuff to uncooked food. Removed disassembly for coins. That is major. We disassemble coins for copper all the time, especially early game. Oh, copper just became even harder to get. Oh, no. Okay. Added disassembly for logs. Reduce the amount of rope required for building. That's nice. I like that for early game especially. Added branch to the crafting of cement. Added rubber to the crafting of the motor. Fuel has been removed from the disassembly of batteries. Added the iron ring, iron necklace, and small cloth bag crafting to the equipment workbench. 
limited the types of ammunition that can be obtained in the central grassland area, pistols and submachine guns. Oh, wow. Change the quantity of rewards in airdrops to make them more valuable instead of less. Love that. Changed options for grave unique equipment. Reduce the chance of obtaining equipment of superior and rare grades. Reduce the chance of it? Oh, goodness. Reduce the chance to drop each item from reward boxes of weapons, armor, guns, and coils. Reduce the drop rate of repair kits. <laughs> Reduce the drop rate of ammo. Increase the drop rate of unique equipment from zombies. Well, that's nice. Reduce the drop rate of food items such as energy bars and can of beans. Yeah, I get a lot of beans. Reduce the drop rate of research materials. Oh, no. Reduce the number of crafted mortar ammo. Reduce the quantity of items purchased at the kiosk. Increase the price of items purchased from the kiosk. Reduce the quantity of items dropped from natural objects. Reduce the quantity of items from some prediction production facilities like the bush and tree farm. We're going to get even less from those. Change so that mushrooms can be obtained from tree farms. Increase the amount of time animals are captured in animal traps. Okay, that's nice. Added stag to the list of animals caught in mid-sized animal trap. Oh, okay, good. Change the chain chance of catching common fish at fishing place to be equalized. Increase the chance of getting clay from fishing. Nice. Added painkillers to drop from drawers. Added buff to carrot cookies. Now it's a minus 25% satiety reduction. Trap balancing. Changed options for trap modification parts. Trap modification plate is damage taken from zombies. Trap modification blade is damage to zombies. Trap modification armor is poison gas chance when attacking. Trap modification sting is a smash chance when attacking. And trap modification core is electric explosion chance when attacking. Interesting. Okay. Research balancing. Some researches have been added and deleted. Options for some researches have been changed. Increase the amount of research materials consumed depending on the difficulty of obtaining the research. All right, the UI. Added to display the HP of unique zombies. Hello, boss health bar. Thank you. Added current HP, stamina, and satiety to the character information UI. Added a notification messages when attempting to attack with a weapon with zero durability. <laughs> That's lovely. Added notification messages for quest rewards. Change the wave start UI. Change the level up notification message. Change notification messages so they don't interfere with mouse clicks. Changed item drop messages to be combined for items of the same type. Changed item earning prompts to not be displayed when using research materials and books. Added buff icons to show the remaining time. Change the effects drawn on screen when healing and getting hit. Let's back up for a second. Added buff icons to show the remaining time. We're going to know how long our buffs last now. Uh, I mean, we know how long they last, but we're going to know how much time's left on them. Oh, I love that. I was reading out loud, so I didn't process that until I got to the next line. And so I wanted to back up for that one. That's amazing. Okay. Added color to the durability bar based on the current durability of the equipment. Nice. Changed the sound played when adjusting the scroll bar in the customization UI. Changed item values to be displayed to one decimal place. Changed the UI to show equipped weapons when mounted so that it doesn't disappear. In the research UI, the location of research is now sorted by difficulty to obtain. Change the character information UI to show details first. Changed highlighted targets to be more visible. They've added two new items of food, and I can't really see what they are. It looks like a rolled up maybe sandwich or something, and maybe it's some sort of a lettuce salad box. Two kinds of equipment, and then four more unique items. There's that bow we saw on that boss, that final boss, or the fourth boss. I don't know what these are, but those will be interesting to find out. It looks like a fishing pole. This looks like some kind of a sword. 
saber uh almost like a kodachi but i don't think so all right quest as npcs were added some of the main quests were modified and a ui has been added to show quest items during the quest the radio for quests accepted when acquiring unique equipment has been removed the overall number of radio received during the quest has been reduced a radar Operation sequence has been added when repairing a radar device. FX. Added an, an effect when hitting water. Changed the sound of hitting and destroying bushes. Added ambient sounds and reduced the duration of alarm sounds. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see. Animation. Added animations for using bandage-like items. The game graphics have been polished. Bug fixes. Oh my gosh, so many. I'm going to leave this on the screen for a couple of seconds so you guys can pause it and read all of these. Uh, there's a lot here. All right, you guys, this has been a huge update. And I am so excited to get into this game. So I'm going to end this video, edit it, get it up, and then go into the game and start recording some stuff to show you guys the rest of it. I bought the outfits. I'm going to show them off. I'm so excited. So come back, look for the next video. Keep your eyes open. It'll be here. Do something fun for you. And like my Grammy always says, don't forget where I live now.